Gopakumar continued. From far away I saw many restless monkeys jumping here and there and calling out, Ram! Ram! As they tugged at my flute, I went with them. Then I saw human beings, more handsome than the Lord's associates in Vaikuntha. Sanatana Goswami explains that the residents of Vaikuntha had four-armed forms like that of Lord Narayan. These forms had forms like that of Lord Ram. Very saintly and well-behaved, they would not allow me to bow down and worship them. Led by them, I came to the city's outer courtyard. Seeing glorious Bharat comfortably sitting with Satrugana, many charming human beings and monkeys headed by Sugriva, Angada, and Jambavan, and thinking Bharat was Lord Ramachandra himself, I began to glorify him with many prayers. He at once covered his ears and saying again and again that he is only a servant forbade me to continue. Sanatana Goswami explains that Gopakumar said, O king of kings, O lord of the Ragu dynasty, O beloved of Sita, glories to you. That Gopakumar mistook Bharat for Lord Ram proves that Bharat is like Ram. Bharat's wife is like Sita Devi and Satrugna is like Lakshman. Frightened, I stood with folded hands. Hanuman then suddenly dragged me inside, and there I saw the supremely wonderful, human-like Lord Ram, who comfortably sat on a royal throne in the charming palace, who was joyful, who had the features of an exalted personality, who was like Lord Narayan, who was enchanting, with many charming sweetnesses, whose hand was glorious with a bow, whose humble, shy glances were delightful, who enjoyed pastimes of being the king of kings, and who was explaining the principles of religion. Overcome by the bliss of seeing him, I fainted before him, as if I had bowed down as a stick to offer respects. Then he, who is desired by the best of religious duties, mercifully picked me up, and I gazed upon him. Sanatana Goswami explains that the Lord is attained by devotional service, the best of religious duties. Pulled by his service, Hanuman left me, and in one jump came before Lord Ram. Beautiful, beloved Sita was glorious at the Lord's left side, and his younger brother Lakshman was glorious on his other side. Sometimes Hanuman fanned the Lord with a splendid white chamara. Sometimes he sang of his virtues, and sometimes, standing before him with folded hands, recited wonderful prayers in verses of his own composing. One moment he holds a white parasol, another he massages the Lord's lotus feet, and another moment he easily does many different services simultaneously. Overcome with bliss, I called out, O glory, glory, and bowed down again and again. His heart melting, the Lord pleased me with a very wonderful nectar of sweet words. The Supreme Lord said, O Gopa's son, O dear friend, well done, O well done. With your love you have conquered me. Please stop. What is the need of all this trouble you take? What is the need? Don't make me, your eternal friend, suffer like this. Arise, rise auspiciousness to you. Give up this awe and veneration. Friend, eternally I am conquered by your love. By the Lord's order, Hanuman picked me up and placed me at the Lord's lotus feet. In my heart I thought, Oh, now my long yearning has borne fruit. Now I have the result more than I can desire. How can I go to some other place now? In the form and garments of a cowherd boy, as before, for how long a time did I stay there, overcome with bliss? Sanatana Goswami explains that the meaning of this rhetorical question is that he stayed in Ayodhya only very briefly, although while he was there he was overcome with bliss, 
by drinking the nectar of Lord Ramachandra's lotus feet. There I saw Lord Ram's pastimes as a saintly king. Still, I did not see anything like the playful sweetness of my worshipable Lord's pastimes, and I did not attain mercy like his mercy. Sanatana Goswami explains that the worshipable Lord here is Madan Gopal. An example of his pastimes are his playing the flute and charming the gopis. I was unhappy there. By hearing from Sri Hanuman the glories of Lord Ramachandra's lotus feet, and by directly gazing at the Lord, I tried to cast off this pain in my heart. I tried to see that all the features of my worshipable Lord were also present in Lord Ram. By the power of my previous activities in Brajabhumi, a yearning for my Lord's pastimes and mercy invaded my heart. Seeing my condition, Sri Hanuman, the best of counselors, tried to console me with very many wonderful arguments. Then Lord Ram, who knows what is in the hearts of all the world, his own heart, soft with great mercy, comforted me with sweet and affectionate words. He told me to go to Dwarka, and he at once sent me there with Jambavan, the king of the Balukas. <laughs> 